Here's a really good expected value question. We'll show how we work these. A company buys a policy to ensure its revenue in the event of major snowstorms that shut down business. The policy pays nothing for the first such snowstorm of the year and 10000 for each one thereafter until the end of the year. The number of major snowstorms per year that shut down business is assumed to have a Poisson distribution. So I'll call X the number of snowstorms. That has a Poisson with mean 1.5. Calculate the expected amount paid to the company under this policy during a one-year period. So the expected amount paid, that's important. So we just need to know the value, the different values that can be paid um, and the probability of those happening. So let's think about it. We can pay zero, um, and that happens with probability uh, that there's either zero or one snowstorm but that will get multiplied by zero in our expected value so we don't really even have to worry about that so we can start with two snowstorms in which case we'll pay ten thousand nothing for the first one and then uh, ten thousand for the next one so the probability that there are two snowstorms um, actually I'll call I'll call X the payment I'll change this won't be X I'll call this N that's the number of snowstorms um, so the probability that we pay out 10,000 means that n has to equal 2. There needs to be two snowstorms in that case. So that'll be 1.5 to the power of 2 times e to the negative 1.5 over 2 factorial. Likewise, we could see three storms, and then we'd have to pay out 20,000 nothing for the first one, then 10,000 each for the next one. So that would be three storms, 1.5 to the 3, e to the negative 1.5 over 3 factorial. And we can see what's going to happen. It's going to go up by 10,000 each time and a new um, exponent on the 1.5 and a new factorial on the bottom. It's just the probability. Um, those are all the PDFs of various values for, um, for Poisson. So there's going to be a pattern here, obviously, and we, we need to add up all of these expectations, right? It's always the sum of x times the probability of x. So I'm going to say that the expected payment is going to equal the sum of 10,000 times, remember the number of storms here is 2 and 3 and so on. So when I want 10,000, I need 10,000 in there because it's going up by 10,000, but I'm going to put n minus 1 here because it's always uh, 1 less. So at, at 2 storms, it's going to be 10,000. 3 storms, 20,000. You know, 80 storms, it'll be 79,000. So it's always 1 less there. And then it is e to the negative 1.5. times 1.5 to the n, right, so I'm relating it back to the number of snowstorms, over n factorial. So that, that will be it. Now what are we starting n at? n will start at 1. In other words, 0 when there's n, or when there's 1 storm, and then that'll continue forever. So now it's balanced, and you can even pick a test to make sure that you're correct. So let's say n was 4, uh, then this would be 3. We'd get 30,000, but that will happen when there's four storms. So that seems to make sense. Now we need to figure out how to calculate this. Well, what we should notice is that um, if we can get this sum to actually start at 0, then when we have n minus 1 multiplied in there, that's just the expected value of n minus 1, which would be really good, right? So if I can adjust this, in fact, I'm just going to kind of force it in. So I'm going to change the sum to go from 0 to infinity. In other words, all possible values for the number of snowstorms. 10,000, this will still be n minus 1, e to the negative 1.5, 1 1.5 1 to the n over n factorial. This is equal to, this whole thing here is equal to the expected value of n minus 1. Right? It's all of the possible probability, well, 10,000 times that, I should say. It's all of the probabilities 
um, of n, right? Anywhere n can go anywhere from zero to infinity, and then it's times by n minus one. So it's literally just the expected value of n minus one, which we should be able to figure out because we know how expectations work. However, there's one of these terms that actually shouldn't be included, and that's when n equals zero, right? Because we actually should be starting at one. So if I just back off the term where n is zero, you can sub in zero and you get n minus 1, so 0 minus 1, e to the negative 1.5, 1 1.5 1 .5 to the 0 over 0 factorial. So I've just backed that out of the sum, um, and that's really easy because that just becomes uh, minus, um, actually it's going to become plus 10,000, because it's minus 10,000 times minus 1, e to the negative 1.5. Now, as for e uh, n minus 1, this is equal to 10,000. If it was e of n, that would just be the expected value of n, which is 1.5. So we have to minus 1 off of that. So it's 1.5 minus 1, and then plus the 10,000 e to the negative 1.5. Put that together, and you get a final answer of uh, 7231. So that's the expected payment in a given year from the insurance company. Um, again, you need to relate the number of snowstorms which follows Poisson, and once we found the pattern to be able to set up the summation, uh, you want to get it in a form where we just can skip to the actual uh, shortcut, which is the expected value of a Poisson distribution. So keep an eye out for that. If you can run the summation from zero to infinity in Poisson, that covers every possible combination for the number of snowstorms. And then you can shortcut it by saying, oh, n minus one times the probability function from zero to infinity, that's just the expected value of n minus one.